<laughs> do we look Amish? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you do. Today is Saturday, January 21st, and today we're going to answer a question that many of you have asked, but I should tell you that this question has both a simple and a more involved answer. Today we're going to give you the simple answer, and then we hope to flesh out some of the details in future videos. Mm -hmm. What's that question we get asked all the time? What denomination are you, or what do you believe? What religion are you? Do we look Jewish? Maybe. <laughs> do we look Amish? I don't think so. I think you do. You think you look Amish? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if people have actually seen Amish people before. Right. I, th I think I have a book. Hang on. I don't think I look very Amish, quite honestly, but... <laughs> okay, we're in a little bit of a rush. We've got to get, uh to a place by a time and it's soon so let me pick this up on our ride and I'll let you know what's going on. How you guys doing back there? Good. It started raining pretty hard so I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do what I had hoped to do this afternoon so we're just gonna have to wing it here a little bit. Right now we're on our way to our Sunday Fellowship meeting space, which I hesitate to call a church because we actually meet in a restaurant. I've got to meet with the brother there and discuss a couple things regarding a building project. And I also hope to stop and get a haircut. So we have arrived at the restaurant where we have our Sunday Fellowship meeting. And yes, there's a horse and buggy on the sign, but no, we're still not Amish. So we get asked if we're Amish, Mennonite, or Jewish all the time. It seems to me that denominations a lot of times do more harm than good by dividing people into categories or groups. Now it is true that we tend to associate with like-minded people. I mean, we just drove past at least 25 different church buildings to get here. But ultimately our Father God is not interested in religion. He's interested in relationship. And he sent his son Jesus to show us what that relationship looks like. Jesus is the, the prophesied one. He's the Messiah. And he came as a king to rule in our hearts and our minds, to change us from the inside out. Just in case, thanks. Ultimately, God is looking for a people whose hearts are completely surrendered to His will, which raises the question, how do we know the will of God? The will of God is best exemplified in the life of Jesus and what He taught His disciples, His followers, because if we claim to be followers of Jesus as well, then we will want to know what He taught and how He lived and where His heart and His, and his affections were. So I want to go into more detail about that with you, but right now I've got to go downstairs and look at this building project with Scott. Okay, here it is. It's still a work in progress, but we're going to turn this into a meeting space because uh, our little congregation is growing and we're running out of space upstairs in the restaurant. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I need to measure out the carpet now. Okay, I think we figured out what we're doing down here. We're trying to get this space finished up here in the next month or so. Okay, it's still raining and we've got some more stops to make, so here we go. All right, we scrapped all our plans. We're not going to the haircut. We're not going to the other thing. We're just gonna go to the library because it's raining and our books are due. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I'm trying to whisper because I'm in the library. You know, I don't want to oversimplify, and I certainly don't want to overcomplicate our faith life. But Jesus did say that in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, that we must become like a little child. And there's a childlike faith that's essential to our relationship with God. We have to trust that he is who he says he is, that he means what he says, and that it's relevant and important for our daily lives. So to answer your questions, no, we're not Amish, although we appreciate the Amish. And no, we're not Jewish, although we appreciate the Hebrew roots of our faith because Jesus was a Jew. And although there's a lot to unpack about our faith and what we believe and how we practice our faith, my encouragement to you this week would be just to start where you're at. And the best place to start is with a humble heart on your knees before the Lord, asking for his wisdom and guidance on how to read the Bible, on how to understand who Jesus was. And if we approach the life and teachings of Jesus with a childlike spirit and heart, we really can't go wrong because there is a simplicity in the gospel message. All right, looks like it's slowed down the rain out here, so that's nice. And I think we're just going to call it an afternoon and go back to the house. Okay, we made it home. You guys want to go in and look at your new books? Yeah! All right, okay. Okay, go ahead. I'll be in in just a moment. I want to say one last thing to our viewers here. I gotta be honest, this has been a really hard vlog to make because it's an important subject. There's a lot to say, yet I want to keep it simple. And I also don't want to leave anything unsaid. So please just bear with me as we explore our faith together with you. We want to be an encouragement and we really just want people to look at the life and teachings of Jesus and to really start to ask some hard questions about the condition of our hearts and what our response should be. Because at the end of the day or at the end of our lives, that's really all that matters. Other than that, we love you guys and we'll see you next time.